It's been a while. Are you sure something's gonna happen? Look, the closet door. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty pen ultimate. In today's story, Drew and his friends are dressed to throw. Things are getting kind of fun and spooky at Cool School. Everybody was hanging up decorations and carving pumpkins. And most importantly, we got ready for the costume contest. Ooh, let's do something as a group. We've totally got to win this year. What should we do? Let's not be monsters. I don't want to be scared. What if you're the monster, Robbie? Then you won't be scared of any of us. As long as I don't look in a mirror, that could work. You can be Frankenstein's monster. I'll be Dr. Frankenstein. Nikki, you can be Igor. I'll be the Bride of Frankenstein. Let's get started drawing and painting these costumes. Let's do it. Meanwhile, Cruel School was also getting ready. Although they always always look kind of spooky. I want us to do vampire costumes. I think we should be werewolves. No, we should be zombies. What about unicorns? They're so pretty. The more time we spend arguing, the less time we have to make these costumes. Ugh, as much as I hate to say it, Ray's right. We need to just pick one. Fine, we could be vampires, but only if I get to I be- I get to be Dracula. Dibs, I called it. No fair. Too bad. I'll be Dracula, and you can all be my vampire bat sidekicks. Can Dracula have a unicorn sidekick too? No unicorns, Timmy. Wait, Ella, you need one more thing. Perfect! And now it's time for our monster. Nice job! How do I look? Great, want me to draw a mirror? No, 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 I trust you. Now it's time to work on our act. Do you guys know how to sing Putting on the Ritz? Meanwhile, the Cruel School gang was getting dressed in their costumes, but something <sighs> wasn't right with Ray. Are you okay, Ray? You seem tired. I'm fine. Somebody help me put on my cape. I can barely move my arms with these wings tied to them. It's driving me batty. This was not a good idea. Finally, it was the night of the big costume party. Dean Mean, are you supposed to be a kitty cat? No, I'm a lion. The costume shop was sold out of manes and fangs, okay? All right, everyone, settle down. It's time to start the show. First up, the kindergartners. Oh. Ah, I can't help it. They're too cute. I have to give them a 9 out of 10. I told you guys we should have been unicorns. So the costume contest continued. There were mummies and wizards. And nobody was quite sure what Frankie was dressed as. But then it was time for Drew and his friends. Welcome to my lab. I'll just draw some switches. Igor, flip the switch. It's alive! Ah, Frankenstein! Actually, Frankenstein was the name of the doctor, not the monster. Oh, I didn't know that. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween! Great special effects. Excellent craftsmanship. Actually, a little scary. 10 out of 10. Great job, guys. Let's take a selfie. Look how great we look. Yeah, I didn't want to see myself. I'm a monster. Ah. And now it's time for Ray and friends from Cruel School. This better be good. I thought we were just making ghost sounds. This is terrible. Where's your Dracula? Where's Ray? I don't know. He just disappeared. Ugh, just keep flapping those wings. Sorry, kids. You're missing your star. That means the winner is... Drew and Friends from Cool School. Yeah! Aw, thanks, everybody. Sorry if anyone got scared, especially me. What happened out there? Ray disappeared right before the show. So lame. Grr, when I find him, he's getting detention for the rest of the year. Scratch that, the rest of every year. Hey guys, is Ray all right? 
Who cares? We lost because of him. He's still your friend. You should be worried if he's missing. Whatever. I'm going home to eat candy and feel better. Well, I want to make sure he's okay. I'm going to look for him. Ray, are you around here? Hmm. Ray, wake up! <gasps> Where am I? You fell asleep in this broom closet. You missed the whole costume contest. Oh, man. I'm just so tired. I haven't been sleeping all week. I've been too scared. Why? What are you scared of? I can't tell you. You'll make fun of me. How about this? I'll tell you something that I'm scared of, and you can tell me what you're scared of. We'll say it at the same time. Deal? Okay. One, two, three. There's a monster orange in Orange juice. Room. Wait, what? You're afraid of orange juice? I hate the pulp. It just tastes so weird. But hold on. You think there's a monster in your room? Yeah. Every night when I'm trying to fall asleep, I start hearing footsteps. It's so scary. I haven't slept in days. Okay, I have an idea. I'll come over to your house for a sleepover tonight. If there's a monster in your room, we'll catch it. Really? You would help me? Sure, let's catch that monster. <clears throat> let's see what happens next. Okay, Drew, we're almost there. Now don't get into any trouble. That Ray Blank can be a bad influence. Don't worry, Mom. We're just gonna play some games, watch some TV. We are definitely not trying to capture a monster in the middle of the night. What? Nothing. Thanks for letting my friend Drew have a sleepover tonight. Of course, Ray. Now remember that Drew Bendis can be a good influence, so don't learn anything nice from him. You're supposed to be a bad guy. Don't worry. I promise I won't learn to be nice. He's here! Hi, Mrs. Pendis. Hi, Ray. Hope you boys have fun tonight. Ew, Mom, you're embarrassing me. That's part of my job. Now I'll pick you up tomorrow. I love you. Whoa, Ray, your house is pretty cool. Bad guys don't have houses. We have lairs. Nice to meet you, Mr. Blank. Please, call me Mel. Dinner time, everyone. Uh-oh, since you're evil, do you eat gross things for dinner? I don't want to eat bugs. Here you go, Drew. Oh, spaghetti. That's good. Yep, I stole it from a kid in the park. Did he cry? Sure did. <laughs> Come on, Drew. Let's eat up so we can catch that monster. What? Nothing. Okay, Ray, tell me exactly what's been going on. I always like to have a glass of milk next to my bed before I go to sleep. But every night, after the lights go out, I hear footsteps, so I hide under the covers. Then when I wake up in the morning, the glass of milk is empty. It's a monster, I just know it. Hmm, that's weird. But this time, we'll be ready. Looks like we're out of milk. Oh well, this will have to do. Ah, orange juice! Get that away from me! Oh yeah, I forgot, you're afraid of orange juice. The pulp just tastes so weird, all right? Well, too bad, we're both facing our fears tonight. Let's go. Okay, fine, let's be brave. Drew took out his mighty penultimate and turned into the stupendous, stupendous. Here's the plan, I'll draw a decoy in your bed. Then we'll hide behind that jug and see what happens. Is that what you think I look like? It doesn't have to look perfect. Let's get this under your covers. Then turn off the lights. And now we'll keep watch. You've really got to clean your room, Ray. Shh. Any minute now, I promise. Ray, it's been a while. Are you sure something's going to happen? Look, the closet door. A monster! I told you! Okay, you've got this. Time for a big scare. But first, a glass of milk. <coughs> Orange juice with pulp? Ah! Now! Gotcha! Ah! I'm scared! Wait, you're scared? But you're a monster! I know, but I'm not scary enough. Yeah, you do look kind of cute. 
cute. Oh no, I'm a failure. What do you mean? I'm just a kid in monster school. I've got to scare a certain number of people to earn my stripes. You know, because monsters with stripes are always scarier. Have you been drinking my milk every night? Yeah, my mom says that milk makes you big and strong. I'm tiny and cuddly, so I thought some milk would help. Listen to my roar. Roar! See, not scary at all. So you're just a kid like us? Doing well in school is tough. I get it. And you just want to grow up. Here, I'll draw some milk for you. Gee, thanks. Now I just need to find somebody to scare so I can get a good grade. If I fail another scaring test, I could get detention. You get detention too? I know what that's like. Okay, I've got somebody who could really use a good scare. Oh, Mama, I hope you're proud of me. I'm trying so hard to be a good dean, and I just want Ms. Booksy to respect me. Here goes nothing! Ah! Monster! Yes! Earn my stripes! It worked! Moral of the story, kids, don't be scared of monsters. They probably just want some milk. Oh, and when it comes to orange juice, pulp isn't so bad. It's really not. I know your arch enemies and everything, but this is just a game. My thoughts exactly. Oh no, it was Grace Kale and her color sucking vacuum. It's time for a brand new adventure with the stupendous Drew Pendus and his mighty pet ultimate. Today, Drew must save Color War at camp. It was the last day of camp, and Drew was all ready for... Color War! Camp Cool School's team was decked out in all blue. This year, they were battling the kids from the rival camp across the lake. Okay, we've never met these campers, so we don't know how big they are. Or how crafty. Or how smart. But I know we can win. Team Red's got nothing on us. Wait, where is Team Red? Here we are! Ready to play? Oh no! It's Ray Blank! Kids, you remember Ray Blank? He's Drew's evil twin. The camp across the lake must be Camp Cruel School! It was time for the games to begin! The first event was simple, Tug of War! Come on! Pull harder! Mmm, victory is delicious. Next up, arm wrestling. Nope, you win. Nope, I give up. Hey, Nikki, what's the history of arm wrestling? Interesting question. Arm wrestling dates back to the... Hey, you tricked me. You ready? Sure am. You? <gasps> Your magic eraser. How'd you get that back? While you were playing capture the flag, I was playing capture the eraser. <laughs> hey! Four points for the red team. Well, you're going down in dodgeball. Finally, it was time for dodgeball, the final game. Captain Hooksy popped the ball with her hook. Miss Booksy dodged the ball by disappearing into a story. Eventually, it was down to just Drew and Ray. Say hello to Cannon Arms. No match for my eraser. <laughs> yeah! You're out! Team Blue rules, Team Red drools. Maybe I'll just erase you, Pooh Pendus. Hey, take that back! Guys, stop fighting! I know your arch enemies and everything, but this is just a game. My thoughts exactly! Oh no! It was Grace Kale and her color sucking vacuum! Grace Kale! She's back! Now you're all totally Team Gray, so I win Color War. Give us back our color. We need it. Yeah, I don't want to be stuck on the same team as him. Yuck. The color is mine. I win, you lose. <laughs> Ray, I know we're enemies, but we both want the color back, right? Yeah, so what? We can work together to defeat Grace. Work together? Like, as a team? Yeah! yeah. The kids hatched a plan. Drew made a huge pile of colorful balloons. Yoo-hoo, Grace, check it out. So much color. 
OMG! Give me that! But those weren't just balloons. They were water balloons! Cool School and Cruel School joined forces! No, you like totally ruin my hair! Stop! No, I'll totally ruin your color sucker! Ray used his magic eraser to erase Grace's <laughs> vacuum! Hey, no fair! Watch out! Here comes the mother loom! Like, no! Grace's vacuum blasted color all over and it rained oh, down from the sky! Whatever, I'll be back! And that's how Ray Blank and the stupendous Drupendous worked together to save the Camp Color War! It's like they forgot they were total enemies or something! What now? Water balloon fight! Well, at least they forgot for a little while. And the moral of the story, kids, play fair, work together, and watch out for color-sucking villains when you're in the middle of color war. Hey, at least Raina Gloom didn't show up. Uh-oh. Who are you? I'm Raina Gloom, and I control the rain. The ultimate rainmaster, Raina Gloom. She ruins kids' happiness one raindrop at a time. Who are you? I'm Jupendous, and I'm here to figure out a way to put an end to this rain. Well, listen here, Pooey Drewy. I'm the Rain Master, and this rain is here to stay. Before he knew it, Raina was using her super cool water shooting powers to try and knock Drew off the cloud. Oh, no, you don't. Drew quickly sketched a gigantic fan to blow water back in Raina's direction. Aha! Your water powers are no match for my fan. We'll see about that. Uh-oh! Her rain powers are stronger than I thought! Think, Drew, think! Get ready for a brand new adventure with the stupendous Drew Pendants and his mighty pet ultimate! Today, Drew must save Cool School from the attack of the Franken-Spiders. It all started when Drew was helping Crafty Carol clean up after a long day of crafting. You guys did such a great job today on your lollipop spider crafts. Yeah, it's gonna be the best Halloween ever! It can't rain. The Halloween parade is tonight. Oh no! Look, kids! It's rain of gloom! What the heck? It's alive! It's alive! Ah! Crafty Carol, are you okay? I think I am. But Drew, look! The spiders are alive! Just like Frankenstein's monster! Franken spiders? That can't be good! Then Drew and Crafty Carol ran out to follow the spiders, but they were too quick. The spiders had scurried away, doing who knows what. Maybe it's not such a big deal. And hey, at least it's not raining. True. And maybe they're just nice spiders that aren't totally creepy. Ah, hell. Spiders are everywhere. And they're totally super creepy. Hmm, okay. But maybe they're not actually causing any harm? A bunch of spiders just took my lollipop! Mine too! I was eating a sucker and this spider just snatched it! The spiders are taking all the candy! Halloween with their candy is like the saddest thing ever! Oh my gosh! Okay, so this is gonna be a problem. So Drew jumped into action! You better get ready, spiders, because we're coming to get you! First, we gotta find Rana Gloom. I'll just draw some trampoline boots and... Whee! Drew, how you doing, buddy? Hey, Sunny, not so good. Brandon Gloom's causing trouble. Uh-oh. Yeah, she struck my pipe cleaner lollipop spiders with lightning. Whoa! And then they all came to life. Whee! And they're taking all the kids' Halloween candy. Woohoo! For first time in trampoline boots. Gotcha. Whee! So, have you seen Rena? Yeah, I just saw her. She was dressed up like a vampire or something. A vampire? Hey, look! There she is! She's right by the sweet shop. The sweet shop? No way! We had to stop her! Good luck, Drew! Stop it right there, Rena. Sure, I'll stop. But my spiders won't. Ah! Soon my spiders will have all the candy in the world! for part two of Drew Pendus vs. Rain of Gloom and the Franken Spiders. At the end of part one, Drew and Crafty Carol had just found Raina's mega giant spider web. Ah! Scared of the itsy bitsy spider? No, I'm scared of a Halloween without candy. It could be worse. How? Sorry to rain on your parade. <laughs> 
Nothing a good old rain sucker can't fix. Ha, huh, looks like it's clearing up. No, the forecast calls for never ending rain. <laughs> well, maybe I'll just suck up all the spiders. Spiders, get him. Ah, no. <laughs> now all the Halloween candy is mine, mine, mine. <laughs> Carol, can you cut me loose? Sure can. I never travel without my emergency crafting supplies. Hey, Sonny, break over. We need you. What's that you say, buddy? The sun. We need the sun. Sure. All right, clouds, out our way. Sun, get back to work. Let's get rid of that rain. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Now take your itsy bitsy spiders and scram, Raina. Oh, but leave the candy. Yeah. You guys are ruining my Halloween party. Oh, yeah. That's why you're dressed up. Raina actually throws a pretty good Halloween party. Really? Well, not this year if we don't have any candy. Okay, we'll give you some candy, but not the good stuff. All chocolate stays here. Fine. Thanks, Drew. Well, geez, Louise, you could have just asked for some candy. And I don't see why you had to ruin my hair. I think it looks kind of nice. Oh, oh, well, thank you. Hey, you guys want to come to the party? We have our own thing. Thanks anyway, Sonny. No worries. Forget about it. Ciao. Hey, Drew, I just thought of this, but uh, why couldn't you just draw more candy? Believe me, I've tried. It tastes awful. Yeah, that's too bad you can't just draw candy. But hey, Drew saved the day, kids. Well, with a little help from Crafty Carol and Sunny Shiner. Moral of the story, kids, watch out for Franken spiders. Always carry your emergency crafting supplies. And sometimes, even villains just need a little candy. The water just keeps flooding in. Guys, look, it's coming from that rain cloud. Nothing my cloud zapper can't fix. Once more, Drew whipped out his penultimate and sketched a cloud zapper. He pointed it straight at the rain cloud and zap, it was gone. But someone else wasn't. Rain of gloom. <laughs> That's right. Weren't expecting to see me in this happy, happy water park, eh? It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty penultimate. Hope you're ready to soak up the fun, because today, Drew's going to save the water park. On your mark, get set. Hey, I didn't say go! This is awesome! That was sweet. You didn't even go down the slide, Robbie. No, I mean this lemonade. Ah. Bonsai! Careful, Nick. We want to keep some water in the pool. Suddenly, the water started rising. Uh, guys, I don't think too little water is our problem. Is there a hose in here or something? I can hardly stand. Uh, I think something may be wrong, you guys. There's too much water. As the water rose up around them, Drew quickly sketched a giant raft so they could all stay afloat. Hop on. Wait for me. We gotta figure out where all this water's coming from. Drew, look out. Drew took out his mighty penultimate and turned into... The stupendous Drupendous! As the wave rushed up towards him, Drew quickly sketched himself a pair of super awesome hydrosonic rocket boots and ducked beneath the water. Within seconds, Drew was back above the water. This time, he was holding up the entire raft. So awesome being best friends with a superhero. Hold on tight! Go, Drew, go! Drew and his buddies rocketed way up in the air just in the nick of time. Higher and higher and higher until they reached the sun! Sonny, boy, am I glad to see you. Well, but isn't my favorite little superhero. Never thought I'd live to see this day. You should see the barbecue up here. Come on, I'll show you. Well, actually, Sonny, we're here on business. Something's gone terribly wrong at the water park. The water's flooding the whole place. We're going to need a lot of heat to dry it up. Good thing I got the hottest job in town. Am I right or am I right? Thanks, Sonny. I owe you one. Just bring some juicy burgers. The next time you come to visit, we'll call it even. Sonny sure is doing a good job up there. But it won't be enough. The water just keeps flooding in. Guys, look. It's coming from that rain cloud. Nothing my cloud zapper can't fix. Once more, Drew whipped out his penultimate and sketched a cloud zapper. He pointed it straight at the rain cloud and zap, it was gone. But someone else wasn't. Rain of gloom. <laughs> That's right. Weren't expecting to see me in this happy, happy water park, eh? Dodge this. 
You guys ready for a ride? How do we move this thing? Have no fear. I have family-sized marshmallow sticks. Getting tired? Never! Raina lifted her umbrella high up in the air and created a giant wave all around her. Maybe this will help. Just as she was about to release the wave in Drew's direction, a giant army of fish formed a whole blockade around her. Finn, what are you doing here? A psychic always knows when a superhero's in trouble. I knew I could count on you. So what's your game plan? Uh, didn't get to that part yet, but I'll distract the villain while you make one. Get out of my way, you silly fish. Stop, stop that. Hold it right there. Uh, can't hurt you guys with water, can I? Nope. Think, think, think! What can get rid of water? A hair dryer and a towel always do the trick for me after a bath. You'll need a really big towel for all this water. Or a really big hair dryer. Drew quickly sketched a humongous hair dryer and pointed it right at Raina. Hit it! Ah! Rufus, make it stop! Not until you stop flooding our water park. But it's my birthday, and I really like water. So I want this place to myself, okay? You know it's more fun to celebrate with other people on your birthday, right? Uh, no. At least I never tried that. Well, we can show you. If you promise not to flood our water park again. But I... No buts. Summer's no fun without a water park adventure. Uh, all right. But make it quick. The other villains have got a water cake waiting for me back at Cruel School. Water cake? You guys need some serious birthday lessons around there. Last one down the side's a rotten egg. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Raina. Raina! Nothing like celebrating together. Woo! Oh, I guess you're right. But do not tell the other villains about this, or else. Yeah, yeah, you'll do something villainy. Just chill out for now. Come on, it's your birthday. Well, kids, Drew and his buddies saved the day once again. The water park was back in service, and they even got to have a villain birthday party. Moral of the story, boys and girls, when someone floods the water park, you just got to get a giant hair dryer to save the day. All right, bring on the evil. This is going to be, like, super fun. And we're back on the clock. Robbie is moving down the sidelines. Looks like Cool School's got another clear shot. He shoots. He Whoa. gets pelted by rain. Thanks, you shouldn't have. <laughs> and Cruel School's on the board. Uh-uh, I see what's going on here. You're not getting away with this, Raina Gloom. <laughs> Better luck next time. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty penultimate. Today's episode is going to be a ball because it's time for a basketball battle. And be on the lookout for Cool School's unicorn. He's hidden in the episode. It's Cool School against Cruel School in the final game of the championships. History will be made, folks. Let's shoot some hoops. Go, Cruel School. Cruel School dominates. Yeah! Cruel School rules. Cruel School rules. Go, Cruel School, go! Cruel School rules. Cruel School rules. That's Dean Mean, the meanest, evil, scariest person ever. He's the principal of Cruel School, and he's also their coach. Because rumor has it, he ate the last one. Okay, guys, remember, teamwork. We work together, we beat Team Evil, let's play some ball. Now get out there and clobber them. I don't care what you do, just win this thing. You guys got it. Can we cheat? Is that some kind of joke? We're the bad guys. Of course we cheat. Now scram. And we are ready to go. It's Ray Blank versus Drew Pendis in the opening tip-off. Hope we can draw enough tissue for the whole team, Drew Fist. Boo hoo hoo. Only to wipe up tears of joy for beating the bad guys. The ball is in the air and Cool School <laughs> takes control. He shoots, he scores! Cool School's on the board. Come on, I don't trade losers. Let's go! And the streak is alive. Cool School is on fire. Come on, guys, get it together. Pass to me, pass to me. I got a clear shot. Ray, over here. I'm open. <laughs> what was that? I said I was open. Don't tell me what to do. You kids better start scoring. Win! By win, do you mean cheat? Why does everybody keep asking me that? Of course I mean cheat. All right, bring on the evil. This is gonna be, like, super fun. 
and we're back on the clock. Robbie is moving down the sidelines. Looks like Cool School's got another clear shot. He shoots. He Whoa. gets pelted by rain. Thanks. You shouldn't have. <laughs> And Cruel School's on the board. Oh, no, no. Not on our turf. That's okay. We still got this. Cruel School's number one. Uh-uh. I see what's going on here. You're not getting away with this, Rain of Gloom. <laughs> Better luck next time. Hey, Drew. Heads up. And Nikki makes a long pass to Drew. The ball is in the air. And it... <laughs> freezes? <laughs> oh, no. Guys, look. Up there. <laughs> Stop that evil ray, or I'm coming up there to catch you. Not if you can't find him. Where'd you go? You know, you guys, you can't just use your villain powers to beat us. It's against the rules. Uh, what rules? You won't get away with this. Bad guys, you're going down. Uh-oh, things aren't looking good for Cool School. That's the end of part one, kids. What happens next? It's time for part two of Cool School versus Cruel School, the basketball battle. Oh, and don't forget to keep counting how many hidden unicorns you can find. Okay, it's all the bad guys against all the good guys. No big deal, we got this. Uh, okay, all the bad guys against one good guy? Bigger deal. Hey, Drew, over here. Now, now, why does she get all the attention? Don't be so cold-hearted, Drew. Nothing a giant flame cannon can't handle. Well, now you asked for it. Oh, that's it. I'm out villain. There's no way I can fight off all these guys by myself. Unless... Oh boy, Drew is onto something, kids. With no time to spare, he whipped out his penultimate and sketched a super duper awesome clone machine. Time to call in the Dream Team. Uh, I mean the Drew Team. <laughs> hey, I look pretty good. Okay, guys, you know the drill. Yep, got it. Ready to roll. Good guys versus bad guys. You got it, Drew. You got it, Drew. You got it, Drew. Okay, that's getting annoying. Sorry, Drew. Didn't, Didn't mean it. it. My, My bad. bad. Okay, guys, let's get a move on. The championship game is on the line. Drew was off, and so was Drew, and Drew, and Drew. Hey, Rena, over here. Stop that, you. Whoa! Yo, Jimmy Freeze. Check out my awesome new igloo. It's got an ice cream machine. I do love igloos. And ice cream. Maybe just one peek. Hey, let me out of here. Not funny. Let me out. Villains aren't that bright. Hey, Grace, bet you can't suction this up. Oh, colors and cake? I'll take that. Grace used her color vacuum to suction up Drew's rainbow colored cake. But that wasn't your average cake. Ah! Oh, like, you totally exploded my color vacuum. So, not cool. Nothing like exploding firecracker candles to bring down a bad guy. Hey, Ray, you game for some basketball practice? Hey, stop! That, ouch! That, that hurts! Stop right now! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah! Score! And the victory goes to Cool School! Woo-hoo! Go Cool School! Cool School! Cool School! Cool School! Cool school. Cool school. Thanks, guys. Couldn't have done it without you. No, no problem. problem. Bye, guys. Man, I have good hair. All right. I hope you kids had your fun. Because Cruel School's about to get real cruel. Back on the bus. I knew this was a bad idea. Last time I listened to you, Ray. <sighs> like, I do not look good in detention. Moral of the story, kids. Don't play basketball against bad guys. They're bad. But if you do find yourself in the villain NBA, be sure to bring along your own clone army. It always comes in handy. Hold on. Did you remember to count all the unicorns? Found number one. There's number two. Found number three. There's number four. And finally, number five. 
Did you find all five? It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendis and his mighty penultimate. Hold on, cause today's episode is gonna be a wild ride. It was horseback riding day, and Drew and his buddies couldn't wait to get up on those super cool horses. Well, howdy, cool school. I'm Cowboy Calvin, but you can call me Cowboy Calvin the Third. Are y'all ready to claim your steeds and ride like the wind? Am I ever? I call that one. That one's got my name on it. Hmm. Well, I guess that leaves that one. Nay. Sorry, kid. Looks like y'all got stuck with the puny pony. Yeah, that's what they call me around here. Oh, uh, nah. It'll be great. We're gonna lead the pack. Just you wait. Giddy up, horsey. Whoa! Wait up, kids! Well, this is very relaxing. Uh-oh. I think he could use a pair of these. You quickly sketch some super awesome rocket boots. Whoa. Uh-oh. Whoops. Maybe two pairs. Giddy up, speedy steed. <laughs> Looks like the storm's brewing. It's not safe out here, folks. Gotta find cover till the weather clears. Quick, in there. Phew, at least we're safe in here. <laughs> you kids cozy in there? Wait a second, I know that voice. Rena Gloom, I should have known. <laughs> Who gave you guys permission to go horseback riding on such a rainy day? Sayonara. Or shall I say, Sayonara! <laughs> Calm your horses! I'm gonna get us all out of here! Drew took out his mighty penultimate and turned into the stupendous Drupendous! Drew quickly sketched a super awesome rock climbing wall, which he used to climb his way out of the dark cave! Be right back! Don't go anywhere! Uh, we can't go anywhere? Uh, right! Uh-oh, that's a long ways down. Where do you think you're going? Ah! Gotcha. No way! How did you get over here? Thought you might need a hand. Or a hook. I was the only one small enough to squeeze past that tree. No way! Looks like being small isn't so bad after all, huh? It's got its perks. You too! Quit horsing around! I've got an idea. Drew sketched a long rope and tied it around the tree. Giddy up, pony! Yee-haw! Oh! Game's over, Reyna. No more ruining horseback riding day. It's not fair! All I ever wanted was to ride a horse, but Mama said it would distract me from my villain training. If I can't ride, nobody can. Oh, you'll ride all right. Boys, hit it. <laughs> I'll get you for this, Drew Pendus, if it's the last thing I do! Thanks, boys. Really saved the day over here. Don't thank me. Thank Little Pony. He's the real hero here. This little guy? Well, I'll say. Heroes come in all shapes and sizes, you know. It's all about what you put your mind to. Yeah. And right now, this hero pony feels like giving you all a ride back to the range. You guys ready to ride like the wind? Hit it, Little Pony. Uh, more like a leisurely stroll. Well, kids, Drew saved the day once again with the help of a little pony who was just the right size. Horseback Riding Day was back in action and Rain of Gloom wasn't going to bother anyone with her rainstorms anytime soon. Way to go, Drew. Moral story, boys and girls. Never underestimate little ponies. They may turn out to be super awesome ponies. Oh, and beware of jealous bad guys who make it rain on a beautiful day. That can be a real problem when you're out for a horseback ride. It's time for a brand new adventure with the stupendous Drew Pendus and his mighty pet ultimate. In today's adventure, Drew is gonna save stuff, but you already knew that. It was springtime at cool school. That's the best time ever because you get extra long recess to go and play outside. Except when it rains. Rain again? What happened to the sun? Come on, kids. Let's try the rain song just one more time. Maybe this time it'll go away. Rain, rain, go away. Come again some other day. Rain, but Drew had had enough, so he away. yelled, Come No, I can't take it anymore. This rain is totally ruining everything. There's got to be a better way to bring back the sun and save spring. 
through, there's nothing we can do. Now take your seat and just forget about extra long spring recess. There was something fishy going on here, kids. And it wasn't the fish that had migrated to the playground because of all the rain. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Looks like all this rain is coming from those rain clouds. Drew needed a way to catapult himself into the rain clouds. Even though they were kind of dark and scary. I know. I'll draw a spring to bounce myself up in the air and land right on those rain clouds. Drew was off. Higher, 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 just like Superman. Ooh, got to work on that landing, Drew. Who are you? I'm Raina Gloom, and I control the rain. The ultimate rain master, Raina Gloom. She ruins kids' happiness one raindrop at a time. Who are you? I'm Jupendus, and I'm here to figure out a way to put an end to this rain. Well, listen here, Pooey Drewy. I'm the rain master, and this rain is here to stay. Before he knew it, Raina was using her super cool water shooting powers to try and knock Drew off the cloud. Oh, no, you don't. Drew quickly sketched a gigantic fan to blow water back in Raina's direction. Aha! Your water powers are no match for my fan. We'll see about that. Uh-oh! Her rain powers are stronger than I thought! Think, Drew! Think! You gotta bring the sun! Huh? Who's talking? I'm Sunny Shina. I make sure the sun rises and sets on time. Really? That doesn't just happen? What? Just happen? Jeez. Actually, it's a great job. Very steady work. Lousy union. I never get a vacation, but I can't complain. Do you also put the moon up at night? Nope. Strictly sun. The moon's another guy. Warren. Nice fella. Kind of a late riser. Dark sense of humor, actually. His jokes are a little cheesy, but you know, he's in charge of the moon. I'm in charge of the sun. And I make sure you kids enjoy recess. Actually, that's kind of why I'm here. What's going on with recess and spring? Raina, who's a real piece of work. Very moody. She's been keeping me captive on this cloud, so I can't do my job. How are we going to stop her? Well, you could start by helping me get out of here so I can get the sun back in place and put an end to all this rain. I have just the solution. Then Drew sketched a giant pogo stick, built for two, and he and Sunny got on. This will take us right up to the sun. No, come back! I'm not done with you! Ha! Too bad! Drew and Sunny used the giant pogo stick to bounce way, way up into the air until they finally landed on the sun! <sighs> it's awfully hot up here. Yeah, you get used to it. Now quick, let's get the sun back in place so we can stop raining from raining on everyone's parade. Drew sketch a giant bulldozer and move the sun right back where it belongs. Woo! We did it! Spring is back! From down below, Drew and Sonny can hear Raina's gloomy voice fading away. This isn't over. I'll rain on your parade if it's the last thing I do! Ha-ha! Take that! Nobody messes with spring. Well, you better get back to cool school. The other kids are going to be waiting to play with you on the sunny playground. Get it? Sonny? Yeah, Reese's is going to be a blast again. Thanks for keeping the sun shining for us, Sunny. Just doing my job. Happy spring, Drew. Drew jumped on his pogo stick and bounced right back to cool school. Ooh, got to work on that landing, Drew. Spring was back in action, and Drew made it back in time to cool school for an extra long recess. And now those rain clouds were nowhere to be seen. Drew shouldn't be hearing from Raina ever again. I hope. Moral of the story, kids, always use springs to save spring. And don't get on the bad side of a moody rainmaster. They're really mean. 